Housing four different species of lemur and currently one species of bird, the new lemur loop walkthrough enclosure is now open at Marwell Zoo. Giving you the chance to get up close with these playful primates, this new habitat is part of the zoo's £17 million investment programme, and I was lucky enough to get a sneak peek inside. Native only to Madagascar, the lemur is a primate that has nearly a hundred different species. And at Marwell Zoo they have four different kinds, all of whom have recently moved into a new enclosure where you can get up close with the most recognisable ring-tailed lemurs or the acrobatic black and white ruffled. It's a brand new exhibit for us and for our animals. Um, it's a fantastic new exhibit. It's completely different to anything we've ever tried before with our lemurs. We've actually mixed four species in here and with a species of bird we've actually got some green peafowl in here as well. As you can see the enclosure is lovely, it's all planted up really nice and naturally. Everything in here is edible for them as we are finding out, they're enjoying it very much. And we've also recreated this inside as well. So every environment for them is brand new and um, much more naturalistic for them. Well, at the minute we've got five ring-tailed lemurs. Um, they're all males. We've also got three black and white rough lemurs, one gentle lemur and two crowned lemurs, who are the most elusive at the minute. <laughs> lemurs are naturally inquisitive. We've been fairly hands-on in a way with them. We've always entered their enclosures with them. They're a species that they're not aggressive. They're very inquisitive. They don't particularly mind you being in there. We always give them the opportunity to get away from us if that's what they want, um, which is why we've created this environment this way. And we've got a public path, which is set. The lemurs can choose if they want to come on here, which they have been doing and walking amongst people. They've also got the opportunity to go away. There's plenty of hiding opportunities and they can always get inside as well. The rough, surprisingly, have been the ones that if they move to an area, everyone moves with them. I think it's because at the minute they're the more active of the species we've got in here. The ringtails are probably the best ones to see. There's more of them and they quite commonly come and sit right in front but the rough lemurs are the ones that do the aerial acrobatics which everyone seems to enjoy. <laughs> they put on a great show, they came and sat right down by people. There's no need to sort of try and venture off the path because they, they've proven that they will quite happily come up to you. <laughs> This new environment has been designed to suit all the species on display so that it's their space and they can choose whether or not to interact with their human visitors. We're basically sharing our environment with you guys. I mean, we've got the best jobs in the world. We spend our days around these amazing animals. We're giving the public the opportunity to sort of come in, into their environment, experience life at the zoo in a completely different way. We've got a lovely pond area which was designed for a gentle lemur. Naturally, he would live on Lake Aloatra and they'd literally live in the reed beds they wouldn't touch dry land ever so everything in the pond is edible not just for him but the other lemurs have been enjoying it as well <laughs> all the plants they are edible for them but also as the seasons change the taste change and the preferences change so their environment is going to con like constantly be changing so it's constant enrichment in a natural way for them if we try and use enrichment devices they're just not that bothered they're <laughs> they're way more interested in all the plants it's way more natural as well it's you can see that they, they look in fantastic condition. We've noticed some really good behavioural improvements in them. Um, just the interactions between the species as well, that's completely new for them and that's going to change every day. Today it's quite warm, so they're a little bit sleepier, a little bit lazier. Um, but on a cooler day, you'll see a lot more activity, a um, little bit of chasing, but it's healthy competition. We're not worried by that. Um, it actually helps keep their waistlines in check as well. <laughs> we ask people, please don't touch them. They are still wild animals at the end of the day. They're not pets. They're not domesticated. It's nice just to let them be them and just enjoy it. Just lemurs are amazing animals. Um, it's really exciting to be able to share this with people. Um, we love our new exhibit and we hope everyone else will too. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.